morning guys yesterday I uploaded the first video and it turned out awesome you guys were super amped up on it and the bodyweight journey so by now when you see this video you might not be so amped up on it anymore who really knows but the feedback was crazy great I'm just so happy about it because like I was really nervous to do this and you know after doing it like I thoroughly really really enjoying it and I'm having a lot of fun with it and it kind of made going to the gym just that much more fun again since it's something completely different but eating a little breakfast like snack thing right now I got my banana I'm gonna make my PB2 in a minute here um, normally I'd have my coffee and then I wait like 40 minutes go to the gym and have my BCAAs mixed with pre-workout but I don't know my caffeine intake has been really high lately which isn't good, so I decided a cup of coffee has like about 125 milligrams of caffeine. My BCAAs have like 100 milligrams of caffeine from natural sources, and the pre workout has like 300, so that's way too much caffeine right off the hit in the morning. So I decided to cut out the coffee. I usually uh, take a pre workout that doesn't have creatine in it, but um, I accidentally got a pre workout the other day with creatine in it, so I'm gonna try it out. Um, the reason I never took creatine was because it's supposed to like get water in your muscles, I guess. So I didn't want to get like that false like weight gain satisfaction because it's not technically gaining weight; you're just gaining water weight. So I figured I'd try it, see what it's like. But if I don't like it, I just won't take it anymore. So I'm gonna sit here watching YouTube videos, eat my breakfast slash snack, and then uh, I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, so a quick little update on my shoulder. It is feeling a little bit better. So today I'm gonna work back in some dips, but I'm gonna do assisted dips. So I'm gonna put a stool right here, and I'm gonna use the bar. I'm not gonna put full body weight. I'm gonna keep my legs up, so I'm just using my upper torso as the weight for today. Kind of slowly work it back in, see how my shoulder feels instead of going right back for it and possibly hurting it again. So I'm gonna get those done, then we're gonna do the push-ups. <laughs> So we just did 200 of those assisted dips. I tried to go down as far as I possibly could before my shoulder started hurting. Feels pretty good today. I think by maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'll be back to doing 150 regular dips. But right now, we're just supplementing it with more push-ups. So we're gonna go do our flat push-ups over there, and then uh, I do about 250 flat, and then 250 incline. And then I'm gonna come back and do some pull motion stuff because I don't want to work out too much of a push. I've noticed that if you do too many push workouts like chest, you kind of create an unbalanced body. So whenever you do push, you need to come back and do a pull motion. Uh, so I'm gonna do something with like, maybe like a row or like a bicep pull or something like that. I'm not sure yet, I'll figure it out. some protein I just drink. Boom. So for my post-workout stuff today, I had uh, my protein shake, which has 20 grams of protein in it, and then I also had a sweet potato, which was like kind of half-eaten from yesterday that I didn't finish, so I killed that off, and so I got my carbs, I got my protein. It's important to get that after your workout, so I've been told, I don't know the exact science behind it, but everyone says you should, so I do. And uh, probably gonna get some Chipotle later. If not, I'll make my own thing. I got some chicken. And then I'm getting a tattoo later today on my arms, so that'll be sweet. And uh, yeah, gonna ride, film with Scotty and all them. Drinking my water right now. Just finished off the rest of my gallon for the day. So I probably did about three quarters of a gallon today already. 
which is pretty crazy to think about since I've only been up for like five hours, maybe less, honestly. But I mean, you can't overdo water. You can, but it's pretty hard to do that. Just a little bit more insight to what I eat. I got myself a sweet potato, and then some chicken, two pieces of chicken and some broccoli mix. Quick bedtime snack, I'm eating super late tonight, which I don't normally do, but I had to, I had no choice. All right, I'm just gonna end the night off with some uh, hanging leg lifts. I'm gonna go in chat position and do some just knee lifts just to get the blood flowing before I go to bed. You know, something I do. I'm gonna finish up these bad boys right now, blast through them, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out. Morning, everybody. A lot of people are wondering how I make my PB2 in the morning, so I'm gonna show you right now. First, take a cup, dope mug I got, put a teeny bit of water in it, put two scoops of PB2 in this bad boy, and then a half cup of fiber one cereal, and mix it around, and that's pretty much it. Voila, that's it. My favorite spot in the world, my desk chair. Eat my PB2 mixture right now. I forgot to add, say I put in, uh, on top of it a little bit of a sugar-free syrup. But uh, check this out. I got a surprise for you guys. Boom. Got the arm tat blasted yesterday. Mountains, trees, roots coming all down. It's got to heal. I'm so psyched on it. It came out so good. Finally finished my arm. Not really getting too much else on this arm to be honest with you, but so pumped on how I did it. Celeste at low bro killed it. Absolutely destroyed it. Today my main focus is uh, for my goals is to do my normal workout. 150 pull-ups. I'll probably do 200 of the assisted dips again because my shoulder's still tight. Do one more day of those. And then 250 regular push-ups, 250 incline push-ups, and then bicep triceps. Just burn them out. And then some abs. Um, I'm going to really focus today. My main goal is to focus on form. So that's the goal for today. So I'm going to take a video of my, some of my push-ups. I'm going to take a video of some of my pull-ups, some of my dips, and some of my push-ups. And I want you guys to critique me really hard and say whether I'm getting the form better or whether it's just the same or not. Um, I will say this. I did a lot of research on it because a lot of you guys are talking about it. And going all the way down and all the way up is very, very beneficial. But also at the same time, when performing a high rep band, going to not complete looseness keeps the muscle in like almost um what was the word they used but it keeps tension on the muscle at all times so you're not losing any tension which means that you're always causing the muscle to be like working so there's two sides to it if you go to hanging then it's almost like that's almost like going to like lockout when you're bench pressing and there's not there's you know you're just holding the weight above you you're not having your muscle being actually engaged with the weight and then also when you go all the way down, when you let the muscle rest at the bottom, um, that's also, so it's kind of like the same as when you're late lifting, where you don't go all the way down, you don't go all the way up, you kind of keep it in that rep range, so there's two benefits to it, but then again, you'd have to do a lot of reps to get the same thing, so today I'm going to try to focus on form today, take it a little slower, and do a little bit more quality reps, range of motion, stuff like that. I want to see if you guys notice any improvement.
super rainy day. I finally got my surprise. It finally came, but I can't even ride it right now because it's raining out. And I'm so excited to show you guys this thing. Just get ready. I'm going to end the video as soon as I show you because I'm going to show you the next video update. You know, I know it's supposed to be about my fitness stuff, but i got to have fun on the side too. My Swamp Fest rig is here. Can't wait to have so much fun on this thing. But for right now, guys, I'm out.